All right, well, to be or not to be, that is the question. And uh, we've got some Shakespearean folks here today. But I will introduce them as themselves, which is David Deering and Carol Shallon. Well, welcome, you guys. How are you? Thank you. Good morning, Lisa. Good We're well, morning. Thank you. And you, I hope. Yep, absolutely. And uh, this one over here, when she came in this morning, she was like, la, la, la. <laughs> she just gets all into character. Oh, and... absolutely. I am Robin Goodfellow, otherwise known as Puck, a merry <laughs> sprite. Yes, you are. <laughs> and this is Malvolio. Mm -hmm. He's an ass, a pompous ass. He's a pompous ass. Well, Boy, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're from Midsummer Night's Dream, Dream and yes. then what are you from? Um, Twelfth Night. The Twelfth Night. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, tell me a little history about the Twelfth Night. Oh, Twelfth Night is a very interesting play. There's um, twins and mix-ups and all sorts of things. And the character of Malvolio, which I have always wanted to do, um, is a pompous ass. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> he's surly with the servants, and and he has this delusion that Olivia, who is his m mistress, master, she's she's the, the queen of sorts. Um, he he thinks that she loves him. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> he thinks. He thinks. That's we the have, pompous part coming that's in, right? The yeah. Part. Oh, yeah. And, well, we and, did cheat. We uh, set him up for it. But that's <laughs> the fun of doing this. With, with a letter. <laughs> My lady loves me. <laughs> of course she doesn't. And oh. proves himself to even, even be more of a fool yeah. than he has been throughout the play. Gotcha. <laughs> and then how about, how about you? Give me a little history. Well, Puck is a spirit of the night. Puck answers to Oberon, who is the king of the fairies, who is upset because his queen has now doting on this little boy that she has taken in. And she loves the little boy, so he wants his queen back and demands the little boy. So Puck is sent out to put things right. And Puck being Puck, uh, not that he gets things wrong all the time, but he has fun when things do go a little crosswise. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, you guys are going to be doing these performances at the Renaissance Fair yes. that we are having on the 21st at the Equestrian Center. Mm -hmm. So excited. Mm -hmm. It sounds like such a great time. Um, I was talking to uh, you guys the other day about the Renaissance Fair that they have out at Glen Helen. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's just a load of fun. So it sounds like they're going to recreate a lot of that, right? Absolutely. I understand we're going to have a blacksmith there, and there'll be fortune telling, wenches with oranges, la a la Nell Gwyn, <laughs> and oh, strolling musicians, and of course, a troop of strolling actors are we. That's yes, right. We are. That's right. And you guys have <laughs> uh, specific times that you're going to be there. So yes. just to let everybody know, it's not as if you're going to be there entire day. So uh, you guys are going to be performing between 12 and 2 p.m. Correct. Um, a actually, we're performing at 12. Oh, I see. Okay. And at 2 and, and at 4. And at 2. The show okay. runs approximately 40 minutes. Okay. okay. So in order to accommodate the people who are coming and going to the fair, uh, we're doing three separate shows. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So one at 12, one at 2, and one at 4. Yes. Now, is it the same performance each time? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Good. So like you said, other people who are coming. because Right. People may not stay the entire time. Of course. Okay. All right. Perfect. So what, uh, you know, why? Why did you guys want to do this? We wanted to do it because we haven't been on stage for a while. And we actually are using the um, recreation stage, the portable stage, the oh. 16 by 12 stage that okay. they pull on a trailer. Okay. Nice. Um, so we'll be able to use that stage. Okay. Um, and, and we have things other than um, three different scenes. We have some sonnets, okay? Oh, okay. I'm, insults, which in, are always insults. fun, which will be okay. thrown out at the audience. Oh, they'll right. love it. Because right. isn't that what that's all about, that period? Of course. You know? we, of course. We have me lords, me ladies, and then we have the groundlings down there. The groundlings. Who will be, they may be fortunate enough to have a hay bale to sit upon. <laughs> but if they're lucky. <laughs> Well, I love it. I mean, it's super fun, and I'm glad, like you said, you get to perform mm -hmm. uh, in front of some folks, which mm -hmm. now you're going to be doing, hopefully, over the next several months. 
you, know, you guys have some other shows and things coming up. Yes, we're getting back into it. Okay, Good. we had a little setback there, as everyone in the village has had. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we're out and about again. Good. Okay, here we well, are. Good. And and here you are, <clears throat> just off your uh, surgery, which is awesome. <laughs> You're doing great. Thank you, Lisa. Good. Coming along. Good. All right. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so much for the information. I appreciate it. And uh, just to let everybody know, the Renaissance Fair will be on May 21st. And uh, of course, your performances are 12, 2, and 4. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Lisa. Thank Me you lady. for having us. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right. And of course, if you want more information, you can always get in touch with Recreation. And you can send them an email at recreation at vmsinc.org. We'll be right back.